uh, Happy New Year. <laughs> it's the 1st of January and the first stage of Dakar, so pretty big, big day. I'm um, Billy No Mates, again, sat on my own in the bivouac uh, sort of food tent. Uh, I've got some scrambled egg, mushrooms, some sort of hash brown, a pancake, cornflakes, coffee. Um, so I'm just sort of fueling up really. I pretty much took everything they had food wise and uh, store up ready for the long day. We've got 600 kilometers in total today, a 360 special stage and um, the first of 40. So eager to get going, get eating, eating it up and just tick the days off get through but uh, I've had a shower I feel alright slept pretty good last night to be honest um, kit's ready to go I've got like an hour and 20 minutes till I leave the bivouac on the bike so let's see how it goes this is it the beginning of the first Dakar for me happy new year Yeah, I'm glad to uh, to have one in the bag like it was a bit like I was a bit anxious I just needed to get going so today was a steady day a lot I made a, a navigation mistake and lost some time but I didn't crash I the bike is is good so that was my main goal uh, and I want to try and continue that so now now I have some time to eat, rest a little bit, but some uh, service on the bike and then sleep, ready to do it again tomorrow. Right, I'm back, uh, well, I've been back a while. It's half past, no, 20 to eight now. I got back at like half five-ish. And uh, I'm done, I just knuckled down and and got bike done just like threw a bit of food down me and uh like snacks <coughs> but going for a proper dinner in a minute but um just wanted to have the the bike done which it is now so she's all like clean clean isn't essential but uh i sort of feel like cleaning it and going through just means i can kind of inspect stuff and check the wheels spokes rims uh i've done oil air filter what else did i do anyway um a little a few other little jobs bits and pieces but today was for like stage one there's a sharon sharon here who's done it before said like that was today's stage was harder than any stage from dakar last year so um yeah i think they've sort of up the game a little bit the organizers and route planners from what people are saying but uh i'm not gonna lie like i there was a few times i was like why why have you done this to yourself but then other times and i was like pinching myself in like that it's so surreal to actually uh be here doing it so day one is done pretty much i've just now 
I've got to take the bike and fill up with fuel because we've got a liaison in the morning, quite a long ride for uh, uh, to the start of the next stage for tomorrow and it's a 430k stage so another beastie day um, yeah but um, yeah that's pretty much it my brain's pretty baffled I, it's, um, I should sleep well tonight for not for very long because we've got to be up early but um, yeah, I guess the fact I'm smiling means it's good, so, at the moment. Um, <laughs> I can't actually believe I'm here, but, uh, yeah, we'll keep cracking on. It was a steady day, no, no, uh, no crashes, which was my main goal, but uh, I dropped a few positions. I made a navigation mistake. Silly one, really, but uh, that's how you learn, right? So the fact was, I knew I was on the wrong. On the next note, I knew I was off the road book, and um, turned around and went back to pick up the last note I I could sort of prove was or knew was right. So and then took it from there. So yeah, it was good. I, I I'm just remembering how to do it, and I think as it goes on, my body will get tighter, more tired, but my brain will work better because I say this but uh, I, I kind of will dilute and, and use the information that I need to see whereas at the moment I'm taking far too much in and trying to over process I'm like over informing myself you know I need to learn to like just look at what I need to know and pick out where I need to look rather than looking at everything thinking overthinking everything so that's it, I'm gonna check out now for day day one or stage one, the day of stage one, um, and see what stage two could bring. I'm probably more, I don't know what I'm more worried about, trying to put the stupid tent down in the dark when I'm tired and grumpy in the morning, or the actual kind of liaison ride. Uh, I don't know, pretty, Pretty like <laughs> uh, I don't know, fuck I don't know. Just like spaced out with, with everything. <laughs> it's been a busy day. A lot has gone on, and there's a lot more to go on. So yeah, I just uh, keep rolling, keep going, and uh, see how, see where what we can do. We just keep chipping away. But we want to get to the end. That's the plan. Get to that finish.